Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're looking at a new watch from Longines with the Silver Arrow. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldessar.com. In this video, deep dive review on this timepiece. At the end, final points of consideration. And also at any point throughout this video, if you have further questions, check out the link in the description to the product page where you can learn more, purchase the watch, as well as book a time with one of our dedicated watch specialists as well. But guys, let's jump into the video. Take a closer look at this watch. Now, before jumping into this review, let's just set the stage for the brand Longines, a brand that has a long and important history within the watch industry. The company was established in 1832 in Switzerland by a man named August Agassiz. By 1846, Mr. Agassiz was leading the company to international success, particularly across the Atlantic and the United States, and eventually pioneered different markets around the globe. As the company grew over the passing decades, it became one of the first companies on record to industrialize the production of timepieces by 1876. What this ultimately did was set in motion a series of events that would make Longines one of the premier watch producers in the world. Through the 20th century, this was certainly the case. Longines introduced iconic timepieces, including their widely popular chronograph references, featured their iconic 13ZN movements. And watches housing this movement to this day are still so prized by collectors. Looking at the brand currently and where they stand, they're one of the largest mass luxury watch brands in the world with a product range of over 1,200 individual SKUs. But where Longines has made a more concerted effort was with the vintage inspired designs that have become a favorite amongst consumers. The company has introduced models heavily inspired by their historical archive, but today we're looking at a dressy option and stylish vintage reissue that first appeared from Longines back in the mid 1950s and borrowed its name from the famous Mercedes Benz race car from the same era, the Silver Arrow. Now let's take a closer look. Now looking at the dimensions of the Silver Arrow, we have a 38.5 millimeter case size with its diameter, a thickness of 10 millimeters, and a lug to lug dimension of 47.2 millimeters. The case is certainly influenced by historical dress wash designs from past generations with its long sloping lugs and a flat fixed bezel. It wears like a true 38 millimeter wash, if not a little bit larger, given that the lugs do extend out quite a bit, but this watch has all the markings for a modern dress watch in that type of classification. There will be no issues with this watch sliding comfortably underneath the dress shirt, even with that dome sapphire crystal on the front of the watch. As with the case back's help, it will recess into the wrist quite nicely. The lugs do a lot of the storytelling with this piece and has a very refined silhouette. The case is entirely polished with softened beveled edges sculpting the lugs. It's very simple and classical in terms of its execution with the case design, but still very well done. A domed and signed pushbull crown is positioned at the typical three o'clock location and operates in the typical manner. At the first position, when all the way flush to the case, can hand wind the movement. And at the farthest pulled out point, you then can adjust the time while stopping the second hand in the process. So hacking seconds here. Installed on the Silver Arrow is a 19 millimeter padded genuine leather strap that tapers just one millimeter to an 18 millimeter pin buckle. It's a supple and soft strap that will require just a bit of a break in in order to really have the maximized comfort that will come with it. The buckle is pretty standard with Longines winged hourglass emblem signed on the top side and also having convenient drilled pin holes on either side to access the spring bar for easy removal and installation for another third party strap. While the case is quite dressy in its design, the standard strap does add an element of casualness to the watch. And I think it does complement it, but I would probably opt for going for a third party option as as for a $2,000 watch, I think these are just adequate straps, and I think you could have a lot more fun with some different straps and maybe lean into the more dressy undertones of this piece and what it's really trying to put forth. Now, jumping back over to the front of the watch, we're met with a dome sapphire crystal and getting a view of that dial underneath. By long jeans, going with a dome sapphire crystal instead of a standard flat sapphire gives the silver arrow more of an authentic vintage look in which this one is certainly pulling a lot of inspiration. The sapphire glass has several layers of anti-reflective coating applied to the underside side for a clear view of the matte silvery white dial within. The dial, like the case, is designed with a focus on simplicity with a splash of vintage flair. Starting along the outside edge, we have a minute track that is separated by design from the interior dial by a thin silver ring, which appears to give the main dial some elevation from this track. There are thin loom indices that are applied to the track at each hour, which can easily be missed at first glance, but when the lights are turned off, you can actually tell that they are there and they actually do the job despite the limited surface area that they're going to occupy. On the main dial plate, we have these interesting Art Deco applied steel hour markers. For the quarter hours, the markers are longer and run perpendicular to the edge of the dial, while the remaining hours are shorter with these ridges that run parallel to the edge of the dial. 
style. They are simple yet distinctive elements that further add to the vintage aesthetic Longines is certainly going for with this watch. And to keep the design coherent with the 1950s theme, Longines decided to go against the date window and not go overboard with dial text. Under the 12 o'clock marker is a printed Longines name with an applied logo underneath. And above the six o'clock marker is the silver arrow name printed in a cursive typography set. Absent from the text is any reference to the automatic movement or water resistant capabilities, which stand at 30 meters for this piece. Bringing the down together are the steel alpha style hands. The hour and minute hands are filled with a thin section of superluminova like those other markers on the outside of the dial. When charged, the loom in the hands glows bright green and the intensity of the hands is a little stronger than that of the hour markers, but overall in poor lighting, these certainly do the job. And I love how the loom and the application of it doesn't clash with this dressy style and design. Now turning this watch over, we have a solid screw down case back that protects and covers the popular long jean caliber, the L8885. An automatic movement that's based on the ETA 2892-2A. It's going to be heavily modified up to that point to allow this one to have an extended power reserve of 72 hours while operating at the unconventional beat frequency of 25,200 vibrations per hour or 3.5 hertz. The major difference between this tier of movement versus some other variants in the L888 family is its use of a silicium balance spring, which is most notable in its anti-magnetic properties, therefore improving the reliability of during everyday wear. As far as accuracy is concerned, these are going to perform at a pretty high level in terms of accuracy, testing this particular one. You're running in the single digits a day. Also on top of this, with that unconventional beat frequency, that's going to allow two things to happen. Now this beat frequency is mostly, I would say synonymous with the coaxial escapement, but with this, it's going to split the difference of a three hertz movement versus a four hertz movement. Many of the other Swatch Group brands are opting for a three hertz to allow the maximization of that stored energy in the mainspring. This is doing that to extend this healthy power reserve of 72 hours without sacrificing the clean sweep that will come along with it, as this three and a half hertz is going to look very true or at least closer to that of a traditional high beat movement. Just as a couple other side points for this movement, this one is going to feature hand winding and hacking as well. Hacking, stopping the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position. So now to unpack looking at the long sheet silver arrow. In regards to the dress watch in a modern context in 2021, I would say it's falling increasingly out of favor compared to years past as many people are shifting to more casual attire and leaning into more sports watches. That said, if you're actually looking at a proper dress watch, the unfortunate reality is so many brands are jumping ship on actually delivering a quality dress option and really know what it takes to deliver something in that field. But when you think of a brand that is absolutely not missing the mark there and has never strayed far away from at least delivering product and doing it with classic traditional elements, Longines is right there and the Silver Arrow I think is a great representation. This is classic 1950s, mid 20th century design and what is being presented here, both with the case, the dial design, the indices, and also getting some modern specifications with the movement inside with getting that 0.5 L888 caliber. Now water resistance and things of that sort might be a point of contention as well as maybe the 19 millimeter lug width. But I think the important thing to consider here is that this is a dress wash. So things like water resistance and elements that are going to be judged as main points of criteria for other watches probably shouldn't be applied to this piece here and what it's bringing forth. This is going to be a heritage dress piece and it will be a great representation as a casual or more formal wear for a modern type of individual. And with that as the main focus and set of criteria around how we would maybe look at this watch, I think you can't help but say it's a well executed one at that. And more proof again that Longines when it comes to these heritage style pieces is probably the best in their price range and maybe one of the best in all of watches. All right, guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That really does help out the channel. Also, if you're in the market for this watch, it is available on teddybaldessar.com. We're a full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry. Quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, also offer a factory warranty for all the products that we're offering. And nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back in the content that we're creating here, as well as on our main channel to try to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.